Hello everyone. In today's episode of Elevate with Kyra, I will be revealing my early spring dress that I made for my mother's surprise 65th birthday party and for this series of Elevate with Kyra. So if you would like to see and hear all about this project, please continue to watch. Hello friends. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel and welcome to the 11th episode of Elevate with Kyra that is hosted by myself and Sheree of Sheree Thomas. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T and if you're new to watching I do welcome you and I hope you consider subscribing and thank you to all of my returning subscribers for coming back and for your continued support. So again welcome to the 11th episode of Elevate with Ankara. If you don't know much about this series this is a series that Sheree and I of Sheree Thomas have on our channels and we are showcasing how we elevate our looks with Ankara fabrics and each episode has a different theme or either an interview for you to learn more about Ankara fabrics and for this episode Cherie and I both made early spring dresses so I will go ahead and get right on into this video and let you know all about the details of this dress but please make sure that you stop by Cherie's channel if you have not done so already so that you can support her and see the beautiful dress that she made and also subscribe if you have not done so already. When I showcase several different patterns that I would pick from to make my dress in why I picked patterns that will work for my early spring in northern Indiana and that requires coverage because my early spring still feels like a mild winter. So I needed to make sure that my legs were covered a bit, my arms were covered a bit, and there were like no cutouts, things of that nature, okay? So I decided to go with Butterick 6242 because that style of dress, I'll go ahead and enter pictures here, met all the requirements. And when I'm working with Ankara Fabrics, I don't like to have lots of lines cut throughout my fabric because the prints are usually on a larger scale and one of the main purposes in showcasing and wearing a cara is to display the colors and the different prints that are in the fabrics and this dress was able to meet that requirement as well along with that my mother just celebrated her 65th birthday and my siblings and father threw a surprise birthday party for her and I wanted to make sure that whatever I made matched the theme of the party and the fabric that I picked out was absolutely perfect and I will also throw in a few clips for you to see how the party looked and went at the very end of this video so if you want to see that please keep on watching again. <laughs> so another reason why I decided to use this pattern for my early spring dress is because I love the style of it. In particular, I love the fit and flare look and this bateau neckline with the dolman sleeves. Okay. Um, this is one of my favorite necklines. I don't make them often, but I do love them and I feel like it's very flattering. And yeah, it, I was sold when I looked at all of the patterns that I had to pick from. So let's go ahead and get into this pattern review so that you can hear more about the details. And I know that this is like not a new pattern. In fact, I think it came out in 2015. Many people have made this and it, actually there's several sew alongs for this that I saw on YouTube. So if this is something that maybe you would like to sew, I will link the two different sew alongs that I thought would be helpful for those who need help with uh, sewing and following along with instructions or just simply don't want to look at the instructions. I'll link that in the description box below. Okay. So again, this is Butter Egg 6242 and it is a retro 1960s Circa. I'm not really sure how that's pronounced, but it was spelled C-I-R-C-A. The pattern description is stated as Mrs. Rouge Waist Dress. It is a pullover dress that has a continuous self bias binding for a neckline. And it also has binding for the sleeve hem here. As I mentioned before, the bateau neckline. Uh, the sleeves are three quarter and they are dolman sleeves, uh, semi-fitted bodice. It, it's, it's not really semi-fitted for me. It, it's very, well, 
yeah I guess you could say semi-fitted bodice and it is cut on the cross grain um, it has a bias gathered cummerbund with a stay okay so um, there's two different skirt variations the fit and flare with the gathered waist the one that I am uh, the one that I made and there is also like more of a straight type of skirt um, and that skirt also has a back Vent. and and I didn't make that one but I do think I'm gonna try it and we can talk about that later okay this dress has no lining so even though it has these details it has no lining I don't think it's necessary and I really really love how it came together the view that I made as mentioned a couple seconds ago is view a which has the flared skirt that is cut on the crosswise uh, grain and and speaking of that the whole entire dress for me was cut on the cross grain minus the cover bun and the stays for it because um, it, the 45 inch fabric that I use from this Ankara is it just wasn't enough for me to cut it on the fold. And this here is what the cover bun stay looks like. So it's nice and flat in the back. And then on the side here we have our zipper this is how it all comes together and this is exactly how it was laid out to be cut on the uh, fabric just like this uh, the bodice is supposed to be cut on the fold the bodice front and the bodice back but like I said it was not long in uh, the 45 inch fabric was not long enough so well, thinking through this, I said, well, let me get out my guide, you know, from the pattern and see like what type of options are they giving you to cut this, okay? And I'm gonna pull it out because I didn't film it, I don't believe when I was actually cutting out the fabric. I, I pulled it out to see how they laid it out. And I'm gonna show you here that it shows that you can cut it out that way and the with the whole entire fabric unfolded laid fat <laughs> laid flat <laughs> for you to cut it out so give me a second here and i'll show you this here top one is how i cut out my fabric right here so what i had to do is i had to unfold this is the fabric laid completely out flat there's no fold okay I had to lay out my bodice at this way and so what I did I laid my bodice down I traced it with chalk and then I flipped it to match up the different um, not the not like the notches and the little symbols I flipped it to make sure that those are match up and then I pinned it down and then I started cutting on the side that was chalked out and then cut around the actual pattern piece that was still laying down the only thing that was tricky with that is that I had to make sure that the bodice was straight because if you just laid it down it you know you would lay it down it would look straight but then it was not even so I had to make these make sure that these edges right here were straight versus making sure like the sleeve was straight so as long as you're making sure where it's supposed to be cut on the fold is straight you'll be good and same with the skirt pieces okay so yeah that is something that I've done differently. I've never had to cut a whole entire pattern like the main pieces out on the crosswise. So yeah, just know that. And it, it was kind of time consuming because you have to lay it down, trace it, transfer any symbols or markings, flip it, pin it down, cut. And I had to do that. Actually, I had to trace them all first to make sure that I actually had enough fabric because I wasn't comfortable just going along with it without laying everything out and tracing everything first because I had never done it that way so but it all worked out and I have an extra whole yard left to make something else so I use five about five yards so the recommended fabrics for this pattern is going to be your broadcloth crepe wool and jersey the fabric that i use is of course this beautiful and vibrant 100 percent ankara fabric with these beautiful huge roses it's the main design with a chocolate brown background i purchased this fabric from about two years ago from afrique clothing store and i love it i actually purchased this for a different well no 
maybe it was about a year ago it was about a year not two years i bought it a year ago for a different birthday party that happened like last fall um not this past fall but the fall before so yeah i absolutely love it i didn't get a chance to make it then but it fit this theme so perfect for my mother's party because the colors were uh, gold rose gold and cream so i mean look this is a rose and this color is rose gold or plush whatever you know they all kind of look the same so yeah it just it just worked out perfectly when i finished my dress i actually sent my friend sheree who i am collaborating with in this series a photo from the actual birthday party and when she saw the dress she didn't think that this was ankara fabric because the print is so simple but it truly truly is ankara fabric this fabric had all the original ankara stickers and the salvage had the dutch copyright stuff on there that's always on there but yes that goes to show you that even though the fabric is Ankara you are still able to get some simple and familiar prints so as far as your sewing skills the skill level is noted as average and I would say that the rating is appropriate because of the side zipper and the gathers and you know making the cover bun and with the cover bun stay uh, usually that's just a little bit more extra for a beginner but you could certainly do it if you'd want to um, but again I do believe that the rating is right the pattern sizing comes in 6 to 22 and the size that I cut was the size 20 which was for a bust size of 46 and a half and I the finished uh, garment measurements on this pattern are all on the pattern pieces so you will need to open up the pattern to find your size if you're interested in making this the pattern calls for nine pattern pieces to cut for both views a and b but i only cut eight pattern pieces i used the bodice front or i should say i cut out the bodice front the bodice back the skirt front the skirt back the front cover bun the back cover bun the front stay and the back stay now the ninth pattern piece to finish the neckline and the sleeves was the continuous bias tape piece and that pattern piece was this one you can see it and yes yeah, continuous bias a and b i did not use it okay and the reason why i didn't do that is because i didn't think it was necessary in my opinion to use that versus using bias tape that I already had in my stash. So I just used one inch single fold bias tape that I already had and I finished my raw edges for my neckline up here and my sleeves. Now, not only did I think it was unnecessary to take that extra time to do that, it would, it's also the point that I only had one yard of fabric left and I was not getting ready to lay that pattern piece and cut all the way through because when you are making bias tape you have to lay it out on the bias that would have just completely destroyed that whole yard of fabric that i had left and i didn't need that okay i didn't want that to happen we're not here for that <laughs> not when you can make something else with it so yes yeah, single fold bias tape and avoid that pattern piece the instructions were very easy to follow and as i said earlier i did see two good sew alongs that i am going to link before below there were more than two videos out there there were quite a few but the two that i saw and actually watched are the ones that i would link because i know that they make sense and you know all that good jazz i do think that my dress looks like the pattern envelope and the things that i particularly like about the pattern is i like the fit and flare i think i said that before i love the gather gathers the length the dolman sleeves the bateau neckline and the fit i feel like the fit was just wonderful what i die dislike about the pattern uh i did not really care for the underbus gathers and i found it hard to keep the gathers there when i was pinning it together for whatever reason i don't really know but uh, i didn't think it was necessary because the cover bun itself you know gives a different texture so i didn't feel like you really needed the gathers to kind of bring the dress out but it's, it's okay it's not terrible the other thing that i did not like is that th there were no pocket options and i didn't think 
that that would be that it would be good to add pockets because the waistline marking was on the cummerbund pattern piece and when I add pockets I add them an inch and a half below the waistline and that would have fallen in the cummerbund area and I didn't think that would look right also there's a zipper on the left side of the dress and I didn't you know adding a, a pocket where the zipper is it's just not I mean for me that would have been setting me up for failure anyway so that's the only thing I don't like you know I like pockets I know it's not everything but I have little kiddos, I have my little children, and I usually carry things in my pockets that I have for them, you know. So that's just a thing for me right now, but that's okay. I don't feel like it takes away from the dress. Um, I didn't learn any techniques, or, but I did have a first time experience. This was, was the first time that I actually made a cover band on the dress and used to stay for it um, the stay behind the cummerbund is a flat piece and this here is what the cummerbund stay looks like so it's nice and flat in the back and the cover band is like twice the width of the actual uh, cover bands cover bund stay so what you have to do is you have to gather the sides to make this pieces match up and then you have your gathering and I thought it was very neat and I thought it was very chic so I really like it. I did not have to make any alterations or changes and I don't have any recommendations for any because I think the dress is fine the way it is. Uh, I would definitely recommend this to others and I like I said I, I want to make the other view. I have stayed away from straight dresses because I feel like they are not very flattering of my body or but I think I'm gonna give it a go we'll see and if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out but I have this beautiful cherry fabric that I think I'm gonna use for it um, so let me know in the comments below if you think I should okay this pattern came out in 2015 it's a reprint of the retro Butterick 60 pattern um, but it is still available at your local Joann's and on the Something Delightful website. So I paired my dress with my pearls here. I thought this would really uh, bring out the, f the colors and things in the dress and I also have a pair of silky type shoes that I purchased from Amazon and they are considered wedding party shoes that has a little bow in the back. So now I will enter a few more pictures and twirls with me in my early spring dress and after that I will close out this video and then end the, it with some of the footage of my mother's birthday party. So that is it for my early spring and Kyra dress. Please let me know what your thoughts are about this pattern and what you think about how it looks in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Please make sure that you stop by Cherie's channel if you have not done so already to see her dress because it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm getting ready to close out this video but before you leave please take a pause for the cause and click the like button and the subscribe button and the great notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos thank you so much for watching and thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support and i'll see you in the next video bye hello everyone talisha here also known as creativity by t thank you so much for joining me today today i am coming on to share with you a little special event that is going on my mother just had a birthday and she turned 65 okay so this is a milestone birthday for her uh, we celebrated her birthday on her actual birthday which was the 23rd but on the 25th of March which is a Saturday we are having a surprise birthday party for her I'm at the hall we just decorated the hall we did all of the decorations ourselves and I made a dress for it which is actually 
the dress that I am going to be revealing for my Elevate with Ankara series, okay? So I made sure that I incorporated what I needed to wear for this party with the series. So I made the butter rig retro pattern. I thought that was absolutely perfect for this event and perfect for my type of dress, okay? I love that style of dress, fit and flare, wonderful. The fabric is per perfection perfection because it's an Ankara fabric but it has roses all over it rose gold is the color scheme if you have not noticed I'll get, put it in other clips later so that you can see but there are rose gold roses within my fabric it is perfect so I'm excited to share that with you how I made it what I made you know um, those type of details I'll put in and my mother also made a dress for her event because she thinks she's going to Ruth Chris and you know everyone's gonna meet her out there so she doesn't know that she's having this surprise party and so that's pretty fun but she made a beautiful Vogue dress with jacket I will share with you that as well I'll make sure I put video clips in of her dress how it came out and the pattern and if you want a pattern review on that I can have have her do that as well but it's so sharp she actually looks like a mother of the bride <laughs> so yeah I'm excited for you to see that and um, like I said I'll throw in the clips I will show you pictures of the decorations because we did them all as well um, not too many long clips because I don't you know want to saturate the video with that but I do want to share so let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll go ahead and start showing you some clips <laughs> 